I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It's interesting. It's real weird. It's, it's like it's it's bold. Yeah. And it's taken a turns turn. that I wasn't anticipating. One major turn that I wasn't anticipating. <laughs> Just the one big one. But it's a big turn. <laughs> it is a big, it's, a, it's a big swing. So Aaron's baby has disappeared. That is that is what we kind of started out with. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know what to make of it. I mean, I, it's 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 the vampire blood. So it just sort of absorbed it healed, I guess, because well, I know babies are technically parasites. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily that, but it's like the people are getting younger. And I said it before. I was like, we're going to go back in time and she that baby's going to disappear. Did you? Oh my god, do you think the baby's gonna get smaller? No. Okay. I think you're going very literal with the Okay. Fine. <laughs> Just like when I if, think if a cat's coming out of there. Because like. <laughs> she's taking the sacrament, the sacrament. And so I was like, mm, I was like, that baby's gonna go away. It, it's a straight vampire, including yeah. he can't walk in the sun. Yep. And they even had some of her blood well, in the, the so sun. The rest of them are okay to walk in the sun, it seems like. But thus far. But I mean, even like most vampire mythology yeah. is certainly there are long form vampire mythology. It's like a series. Like yeah. Dracula visited Lucy like four times before the the, the transformation yeah. was complete. Yeah. Um so well, and I'm I'm unsure whose blood. Th so they're drinking the vampire's blood. Yes. Okay. Because yeah. at the end, he like opened uh -huh. the vein into the crystal decanter. Although that doesn't that feels like enough for like one service. Yeah. It, well, but no, he's putting it into the wine. Right. Okay. But what what is the comprehension level of this vampire? I don't know. He seems very like put out. He seems very like, God, enough already. Uh -huh. Like, you again? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, he's got to get back to Atlantic City. He's got a yeah. whole thing going. It's it's so funny that he's taught him to wear this trench coat and hat to, as to blend in somehow. Yeah, it doesn't work. It's not working. It doesn't? Yeah. Because he does. He is the height of three little boys stacked on top of each other. <laughs> Who or what is this vampire yeah. from whence... <laughs> did it came yeah um like i mean are we talking hundreds thousands oh thousands like, okay this, it has to be for i mean i then in that case i think we are going to a dracula 2000 place because it feels like this vampire has to have been alive like since came, the time of jesus it, it, well because we didn't touch on it but i guess when he was in jerusalem he wandered into a sandstorm into mm -hmm. ruins which I was going to criticize, but ruins are just sort of around like willy nilly yeah. there. So, I mean, you can't up to here with fucking castles. You know, deserts move. E e sure. Yeah. yeah. OK. Yeah. 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 I'm resisting the urge to do my patented thing where I'm like, OK, so we have thrown down a gauntlet. Mm -hmm. Where is God in this world is because the cross. Well, the, the thing with him with the cross, it wasn't so much that the cross burned him as it was. He was he clinging it to too it hard, too yeah. hard. So I don't know. I, I'm finding it fascinating and utterly dread inducing that th th something supernatural is happening. Mm -hmm. And given the parameters they are familiar with, they have a reason to, be to believe it is spiritual. Miracles. That it is miracles. Yeah. That is anxiety inducing, yeah. nauseating for me. Because it's just, I know there's a parable in here somewhere, but it's just when, <laughs> when bad things are happening and, and people are falling back on religion as a crutch mm -hmm. it, it, and using it to explain or justify what's happening versus mm -hmm. actually facing the truth, well, the reality of what's happening. So the only person who's doing that with bad things is Bev. Uh-huh. Everybody else believes that these are truly good things that are happening. I tell you. <laughs> I don't know what your relationship to me or our show is, but I have a tendency to fall in love with piece of work women uh, and it can sneak up on me because I hated her. I hated her. She did not even remotely fall into my like Queen Cersei like thing. Um, I, 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 I'm getting there with her. <laughs> She's OK. I kind of agree. I'm starting to live for her now. <laughs> 
Okay, I kind of agree, but okay. I st- a whole town full of worthless idiots. Sure. She's doing something. She is doing something. And the thing the thing I'll say is I think she's still a terrible person. Oh, yeah. But as a character, she is fascinating because mm-hmm. she's like all of these goddamn men are falling to absolute pieces <laughs> about being murdered or seeing a dead body or eating said dead body. And someone's got to clean up the mess. It might as well be me. <laughs> and she fucking boot and rally. The, the parishioners were waiting and she got the show on she the road. Like, Let's do it like in the times of old where Christians just led themselves she's and there were really, no priests. She's really improvising. Yeah. She's like, I need a location. I need a <laughs> vocation <laughs> get her a box of wigs oh and hats and she'll put on a show She'd make it work uh and and her her logic it, it what is the um <laughs> from uh the happy endings where he's like your reasoning is wrong but your conclusion is, is correct, correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well she also it, like she barely flinched when she walked into the Monsignor's house and Joe, spoiler also, alert, is extremely <sighs> dead on the floor. There is blood everywhere. And the Monsignor is up in the corner like a little boy covered in blood. And she's hysterical oh, how worthless he is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, honest to God, Sister Bev should have walked into that fucking place. She would have been ready to go. Uh, yeah. It, and again, a Mike, Mike Flanagan special. So far, I have anticipated everything that has happened mm-hmm. on this show, but it's just as terrifying and terrible. Yeah. Like even though even though we saw it coming, we knew he was going to kill Joe. No, it managed to surpass our poor Joe. He was that finally putting his life back together. That last like kind of strobe, like flash shot of him just actually sucking his head. <sighs> that's gonna that's gonna stick <laughs> with me. <laughs> You, because I think like I don't like that at all. Seconds like into like a minute had passed, and you were like, "I feel sick to my stomach." Yeah. Still, no, it was really bad. So Riley's mother, I'm not entirely sure what to make of Annie. Okay, as happens frequently with Kristen Lerman, no one knows what to do with her. She has this kind of role in <laughs> everything I've ever seen her in where it's kind of a nothing role and it doesn't really go anywhere and you just are left at the end being like weird that she was there and so something well, we still might have still yeah we still it, have three episodes but so far i'm just like hello joyce yeah <laughs> it's really the vibe i'm getting from it why are you at joyce's house yeah <laughs> well the three episodes it's simultaneously a lot and not nearly enough i don't know i mean yeah. i believe that he'll stick the landing I think he frequently does. There are people out there who criticize his endings. But. I disagree. I know I I have seen people say that like the end of Hill House is really schmaltzy and I I super disagree because I mean Yeah, no, that's what that show needed was to be le- more dour yeah, with no with, light at the with, end of the yeah, tunnel. No, no and emotional so that's, core. And similarly with Blind Manor, but it's also I don't know. I just think that he strikes a really excellent balance with stuff like that. And so maybe having the character of Annie is useful in that way because she is just sort of like, look at the silver lining, but well, she's trying, but she's also, she just has no concept of what we're actually dealing with. So few of them do exactly. And Riley Sturge or Sturgis or whatever. And Wade who cannot handle it (laughs) at all. At all. He is really not, he, like he couldn't even get a sentence Worth- out. <laughs> You're right. There are just these worthless men. Um, but yeah, Riley like gave her gave Annie more than she could handle. Yeah, and then went to see Aaron. He well, he spent the night with Aaron. Yeah. Although I don't think anything happened. I don't think anything happened. But they were. He was comforting her after the the disappearing baby saga. He went back. And then went to the rec center. Well, so he had already been to the AA meeting and the Monsignor let it slip. It's something that that Riley knows to be false, which is that Joe, who we know is deceased, had gone to visit his sister, who we and Riley know also, know also is, deceased. is dead on the mainland and that Joe didn't know when he'd be back. And so Riley was like, maybe going to go see Aaron. And then at the last minute, he like peeled off and went back to the rec center where he found the Monsignor and the angel opening a vein into the crystal thing and then he flew at him 
yeah, really like lunged. Yeah, it was, and, and he's but and then we got a chomping. shot of him just going to town, yeah. and Riley's face was really. Ugh. Yeah, and so that's where the episode ended. I don't know what that means. You were you were very certain that Riley's just gone. Uh, so okay, it would be. I would accept that. Like, so it would be more difficult to explain how Riley disappeared than, especially because there's a really traceable line where it's like his mother saw him and knew he was going to Aaron's, but then Aaron's going to say he never came to my house. So I have a feeling now that actually the Monsignor is going to be like, you have to you have to make him like me so he can account for himself. And we still have no concept on what Bev was doing with the poison other than killing the dog. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know, because it feel now all of the symptoms that the Monsignor is having seem like withdrawals from like the vampire blood or whatever. So. But I, but then he's feeding I'm not, I'm, people. I'm, I'm not trying sure to yet. not set myself up for failure. Like I'm trying to not expect too much from this show. Yeah. But I am very aware that there could be another aspect, another that layer we are unfamiliar. Yeah. I think there kind of has to be one, one more something. We had a scene with Henry Thomas with uh, Ed Flynn yeah. and Riley where he like. Well, it was interesting too. He he like tried to apologize to Riley and he even admitted to resenting him, but we didn't really get a We didn't get I a resolution was, and Riley didn't get to speak at all. Well, and I guess the resentment was just because he was he thought he was better than them. Well, because he is better. <laughs> okay. He's like he's very smart and he was driven and it was like he didn't want to be like a lobster man or but whatever. But that, that's one of those kind of that's a, a type of the generational trauma that yeah. happens a lot that d go, goes unexamined yeah. and explored. And I'm it, it was interesting for them to touch on it, but not really. I do wish they'd gone a little deeper, especially because they didn't get into a point where like it, it was like Ed doesn't have the language to be making that apology correctly because the way he made that apology was still laden with guilt, mm -hmm. like laying guilt on Riley about it. And so that's the kind of thing where it's like, I do wish that we could like get a little deeper into that. But I also feel like that's the, those are the criticisms I've seen about this, about midnight mass is that it's like, it tries to get into these deep character moments, but it's sort of hindered by the like bonkers vampire shit, which I'm honestly loving. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I that's what I've seen so far. You have a theory that Dr. Sarah is the yes. child of her her mother, but then and the Monsignor. Uh-huh. He was way Very familiar too excited with Mildred about yeah about Millie and, and she like recognized him yeah and it was very very affectionate and like they remembered each other from youth and everything and that's that's what I'm going for and and because that's what I was like that's why he used to look at her funny because she was like I remember him always looking at me exactly that way and I think that's why because it's it's his daughter so why would she not have recognized him as father Paul, if she's known him his, her whole life. Well, it was one of them said something. I uh -huh. think it was Bev was like, oh, you just, you know, your mind lets you not believe things. It's okay. just like, you're the, you're the spitting image, but like, yeah. you don't really think about it. Plus, it's been, it has to have been so long since he was that age. And I mean, mm -hmm. Annabeth Gish is not, I mean, is she, is she 50? Maybe, but he might not have looked that way. He was 80. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Was there anything with Rob Coley with Sheriff? Hassan and Ali this episode. Ali went to church. He did go to church. Yeah. It was so gross when Annie, Annie was yeah. talking about. I didn't like your, and your I under, little friend Ali. Uh, all of the language. And yeah. just, I don't know. I understand. And yeah, that's the conversation many a white person would be having. Mm -hmm. But it didn't. I didn't like it. Yeah. I didn't. I, didn't I honest to God kind of glossed over it. What was she what was she even saying? Just kind of like, well, now he's found the right way. Or yeah, something? it oh, was no, very patronizing yeah. in that no. regard. And isn't, isn't that wonderful how God works in mysterious ways and how she managed how, like she was really celebrating that he found the. the no, I don't. It was very conversion. -y yeah, I'm and, not a fan. Not a fan of that. This it's, show is it's a, good. It's, it's interesting. It's really good. good and I, interesting. Okay. I do. Here's my thing is I think I prefer uh, Hill House and Bly Manor because they're a lot more under the surface is where all this stuff is happening. But this is a lot of stuff is happening right in your face. 
And it's still good, but it's a lot less of like what I've come to uh, mm-hmm. expect from Mike Flanagan. Um, so far, the kids, I feel like ha- they haven't done much. Kind of, kind of useless. To yeah, a we point. haven't really yeah. gotten anything from Warren or, or Lisa. I mean, other than her, the the miracle yeah. or um, U- the Uker? other one, <laughs> Uker, yeah, the friend. I'm anxious to find out what's going on with Zach Guilford because I don't want to watch three episodes without him. <laughs> what if they all just accept it at the end? I'm, I, I think we might be heading there. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they just all are like, "Well, this is it," which is interesting in its own right. Sure. We're frequently yeah. being like, "What if we were just like, oh, okay." That's the oh well we actually um Aaron and Riley had a really long deep talk about what happens after you die. I loved his explanation. I liked hers too. Hers, hers too for it was sure. In a different way. And then but. the way he was like, I really hope you're right. Oh, uh, it's so good. And the two of them acting off each other, that's a combo I would have never like put out there in the universe but it's amazing. And the thing is it's like he absolutely killed somebody. Yeah. With his a like, young Purse a young yeah. girl, teenage girl, with his negligence. Ba- yeah. yeah. And so, I mean, he absolutely does deserve to 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 pay for that. Uh, but that's but what the is, prison sentence. Well, was yeah, for, but there's yeah. also a part where it's like he's never ever going to forgive himself. No, and never. it's sort of like. <sighs> I mean, at some point, you kind of have to. Yeah, or you should. You should. You should at least be making strides to get there for sure. Anyway, they had a really lovely little talk. It was nice. Her explanation was really sweet. Yeah, I loved it. So, and then it went fucking bananas at the end. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess we will be back with episode five, hopefully soon. Yep. And we will see you then. 